So moving on with our course on Bootstrap 4, let's talk about the grid system, how to build layouts, how to control positioning of your elements on your web page. Bootstrap 4 has a fantastic grid system. It's really easy to use. So let's take our basic page here. So I've cleaned out all the content from previous episodes and we're going to very quickly and easily create a layout. Now, if you understood how, or if you understand how tables work, so there's columns and there's rows, and you can count to 12, you can use the Bootstrap grid system. We have a class called Row. This will create a row on the page. Inside of there, we create columns. So if I were to say class call, I've just created a column. I can do that a few times. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. And here's the third one. Just automatically becomes these three columns. So we can come inside of here and let's add a background color. Um, just do a pale blue here. Actually, that doesn't show up very well. Let's do gold, make it really stand out. Okay, so that's a row. And then on the call, we'll add a background color of sky blue. Okay. So you can see here, the blue is completely covering the gold. Bootstrap, behind the scenes, is using Flexbox. So if you're familiar with CSS and Flexbox, you'll understand what's going on here. It is automatically stretching all of these elements to fill up one third of the content. Because I have three columns, it fills three spaces. If I add a fourth one on here, it automatically spaces it. I don't have to do anything else. And I can add up to 12 of these columns. So we keep going, going, going. We can have up to 12 columns inside of here. Now, most of the time you don't need that many, but makes it quick and easy. You just have to put class call and class row around it. And it does the rest of the work. So if I want four columns, I've got them. If I want three, I've got it just by adding these class names. Now, sometimes you don't want them all to be the same size. Well, what if I wanted this first one to take up half of the space and then these three to take up the remaining space? We can actually append numbers on there. So now the first one is taking up six units. There it is. Uh, I've lost my blue because this was specifically for call in general, not call with the numbers. So we've got six units, which is half of the 12. There's a total of 12 columns. We just took six of them with this unit. These guys are taking the remaining six, so they're each getting two. If I go in here and I say call two, call two, call two, I get the exact same result. They're each taking up two of 12. We want to change this some more. I can make this one a four and then come down here. Notice how this one dropped down to the next line. That's because there was no longer room. I had 14 as a total here. So the last one doesn't fit. It has to go down to the next line. But if I change these to one, there we go. Everything fits back inside that 12. So that may seem like a little bit awkward, but if you know ahead of time that there's only 12 spaces available, you can use that to your advantage. I can say, you know, I want this first one to be six, this second one to be six, this one to be eight, and this one to be four. Well, six and six is 12, eight and four is 12. This will be the first row, this will be the second row. It just automatically spills over into the next one, just like Flexbox does, because this is using Flexbox. So we have columns, with just general call that class, or we've got call with the numbers and every row inside of here adds up to 12. Now, the next step in this process is what if I want to use different sized columns for different layouts? Bootstrap comes with built in breakpoints. If we come in here, we look at the bootstrap documentation. So in the documentation layout, We've got the grid section here, and this is all the stuff that I'm going to be talking about here. We're going to look at these breakpoints in a minute. So we have all of these sizes right here. I don't know how well you can see these, but uh, 576. 
Anything below that is considered to be extra small. Above 576 is small, above 768 is medium, above 992 is large, and above 1200 is extra large. We can add on, after a call, we can say SM, MD, LG, or XL for small, medium, large, and extra large. That means I'm creating a new width for anything that's small or above. So let's try this out. We've got four columns here, and we'll come in and say, you know what? Above the small breakpoint, I want six. Above the small breakpoint, I want six. Above the small breakpoint, I want eight. Above the small breakpoint, I want four. Right now, my screen is above that breakpoint. Boom. I am now below that small breakpoint. I'm in the extra small size, up to 576. So this becomes a single column. It's lined vertically here. I get above, it goes back to these sizes. All right, what about when I hit the medium point? Well, I can create just other classes to define how this is gonna change. I can say once I get to medium, I'm gonna make each of these three. So let's put the same thing in all of them. So they're going to go back to being one row, each of them getting one quarter of the 12 that's available. So I'm in small right now, and there we are. Once I hit that medium point, it went from two rows to one row, just by adding these classes. So like I was saying before, as long as you can add up to 12, and you know I want one row, or I want two rows, I want three rows, this is how you do it. Now, if you want extra space, you can put another row around it. I could turn this into two rows, but because I want it to act this way where sometimes it's one row, sometimes it's two, I'm going to contain it all inside of one row. There we go, like that. And then maybe when I get up to the large size, I'm going to make this first one. So anything above large, I want to use 12 for the first one, and then four for this. So these three are each going to get one third. There we go. So they've got one quarter right now because I'm at the medium breakpoint. Below that, we've got the six, six, eight, four. So half and half, and then two thirds, one third. I get above that. We've got the quarters, and when I get up to the large, that first one takes up the entire row, and then these three are split evenly. Now, it can be a little hard to see where the breakpoints are. In here, I've got so little text. I could put paragraphs and other things inside of here as well. So let's say border right, one pixel solid, charcoal gray, and that's going to be, oh, sorry, that's on <laughs> just the call. So I would have to go through and put this on everything. Let's change this to anything that's a child of the row. There we go. So now I've got those borders showing up. The one at the end here, this is for four and for one. And there's the one for three. There's the one for two. And you can see I do have some padding by default showing up inside of here. I do have this nice gap. So it is providing me some spacing by default. Probably going to want to add more, but we can use those utility classes that we did in the last video with the padding and margin, the top, bottom, left, right, and so on. Okay, and that is how to build a grid with Bootstrap version 4. It's just combining all of these classes. And you can mix and match. You can add in just the class call with these other ones as well. If you put in call, it's just automatically going to take up all the remaining space. All right, so that is the grid system for Bootstrap 4. I hope that helps you out. Hope uh, you take a few minutes and just experiment with that. Make sure you're understanding how this works. Just remember the small, medium, large, and extra large. All of these have to do with that size or larger. So if you only define medium, that means below medium, it's going to be a single column. If you only define large, below large, it's only going to be a single column. So just remember that. 
Okay, any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I will link a uh, code just in the description for this code. And as always, thanks for watching.